channel. I hope you're all doing very well. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I got this makeup look. It is very peachy, orange, just what I'm all about this spring summer, even though the past few days here in Australia have been very rainy and gloomy, but what can you do? I really love how this look turned out and it is very wearable, as are all my looks really. I feel like you can definitely kind of turn down the lip if you want, but I feel like it tied in really well with the eyes and the cheeks and everything just looks super monochromatic and I am obsessed. I really love this look. I kind of mix and match the products. I did use a lot of like old products that I've had in my collection and I did try out a few new products as well. So this look was really inspired kind of by spring and summer, but I have been seeing a lot of photos pop up on my Instagram. So. Like this one by Makeup by Ariel, you guys are not going to be able to see it because of my ring light. But it is a makeup look that he did on Shane Mitchell and it was a really orange, peachy, matte look. She barely had any highlight so I did kind of want to change it up a little just to kind of suit me a little bit more, add in a little more kind of, of what I really like to do with makeup. But there was also a photo by Nikki Makeup which I'm a huge fan of and her makeup looks are just out of this world they're so amazing and I always get like a lot of inspiration from her as well and I just saw this kind of like reddish orange you guys cannot see it at all so I will insert a photo just on the screen but again it is a like orangey really reddish orange smoky eye and with this one it is a bit more um, shimmery or like a bit more highlight on the skin and I think with this one as well it is more editorial I don't know, I really love both looks and I really wanted to do something like orange and inspired by that. And now that we're hopefully coming into spring summer in Australia, this is a really nice look. So yeah, I really hope you guys love this look as much as I do. And if you want to see how I got it, then please go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so I've already gone ahead and filled in my eyebrows. I'm going to start with my eyes today. So I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with Peach Smoothie, which is just like your standard peach orange transition shade. And I'm just going to pick this up on a just a slightly more fluffier brush. So I'm going to start to focus this shade in the crease. Just tilting my head slightly. With this look as well, I don't want to wing it out really dramatically. I want to keep it pretty round. I am bringing this shade all the way in as well. So I'm just going to keep building that up until I have like the kind of color and intensity that I want. So with this, I kind of slightly went a bit more up. So I'm just going to grab the brush that I used to put my concealer on. I'm just going to kind of like feather it a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got an idea of kind of the colour that I want, the transition shade, I'm going to go slightly darker. I am kind of just mixing shades from my single shadows. And these are kind of a mix of Makeup Geek um, and also MAC Cosmetics. So I think I'm going to... I'm going to go into this bright orange actually. This is Red Brick from MAC. So it's just like a super bright matte orange shade. I'm picking this up on a slightly smaller, still a really rounded fluffy brush, but it is a lot smaller. So with this shade, I'm putting it very similar to where I placed that transition shade, but I am bringing it a bit closer down. I'm also going to focus it more in the outer V area. So I'm kind of starting off with what I've got right on the outer V and then kind of with whatever's left over, I'm going to slowly like push it up into the crease. I'm just going to use a flat shader brush just to pack it on the outer V and then I'm going to try to blend that out. So 
So I've got these two orange kind of peachy shimmer shades. I've got Coppering. That one is a MAC uh, single shadow. And then there's also Cosmopolitan. I think I'll just mix the two to kind of get the shade that I want. One is a bit reddish, whereas um, this one, Cosmopolitan by Makeup Geek, is more of like an orange peachy kind of shade. Just using a synthetic flat shader brush, I'm going to just start to kind of put those kind of all over the eyelid. Definitely want it to be kind of like a wash of colour, not like super structured. So I'm kind of like using the same brush to kind of blending the shades together as well. Just picking up the first brush we use and a bit of peach smoothie again. I'm just going to slightly diffuse out that line. I'm just picking up a cleaner, kind of more pointed brush. This one is the Models Prefer Shadow and Concealer Brush. I'm going to pick up a bit of Red Brick again, which is the matte shade that we used. And I'm just going to kind of slightly build up a bit more kind of like a matte look just on the outer edge. As you can see, my hand is kind of like my mixing palette. So let's just ignore that. Even though I am using like a smaller mirror right in front of me, I feel like when I look at a bigger mirror, it kind of gives me the kind of real look because I'm not looking at it like really up close. So with this side, I did come a little down, so I'm just going to use a makeup wipe just to kind of clean it up, make it a bit more rounded. So I'm just going to go ahead and add on a pair of lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on some mascara. I did have to use a bit of black eyeliner just to hide the lash band. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the face or the skin I should say. So for foundation I think I'm going to go ahead and use the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Foundation. This was my all time fave back in the days. It is a liquid and it does have a matte finish um, which I feel like is going to be good for this look. Even though my skin is really dry I did have primer on um, and I did moisturize as well. So I've just gone ahead and given it a really good shake. I'm going to start buffing it in with the Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. So I'm just going to Put a few drops there and just slowly start to buff that in the skin. I think this might be a bit of a darker shade, so we might have to blend it down the neck. Just tapping over everything with my sponge. This is just going to kind of like soak up any excess, just going to make it a bit more smoother as well. So for concealer, I'm going to try out this new one by Josie Moran. It's the Argan Creamy Concealer Crayon. And this one is in Light 1. So it's just kind of like a crayon. Um, it is kind of like a cream liquid consistency, I believe, or from what I swatched when I was kind of comparing shades. Um, this one does have a slight kind of salmon-y orange undertone. So it's just going to help to color correct. So I will have to go over with one that is a bit more of like a yellow or brightening shade. It's gliding on really smoothly on the skin. I have super dry under eyes as well, so I'm curious to see what this one is gonna be like. I'm just gonna use my smaller sponge to blend that in. It's blending out really nicely, it's super smooth and it's pretty much concealing everything. I actually really like that concealer. It's like super smooth. It kind of just made my under eyes look a bit more hydrated as well. So because we kind of want to balance out my skin now, I'm just going to go with a lighter, more kind of yellow tone concealer. This one is the Revlon Colorstay and I think it's in light 10. Light pale. 
So to set my under eyes, I'm using the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. And I'm just going to kind of bake a little bit under my eyes. I'm just going to slightly set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my eyes and then we'll finish the rest of the face. I'm just going to pick up Red Brick again and I'm going to run this all under my eyes. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into the Sleek Makeup Highlighting Palette and I'm going to go ahead and use this shade. I feel like it wasn't as kind of peachy. So I'm going to go over it with Cosmopolitan. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Grapefruit and I'm going to actually use that for my waterline. And I'm going to see if we can kind of get similar tones. This is a bit more pink than I'd like. I'm going to go over it with like a more nude shade. This one is Wild Clover by Rimmel. So I'm just going to finish everything off with some low lash mascara. So just going back to the skin, I'm going to go ahead and warm up the complexion. I'm using another product that I haven't used in a long time. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm just going to slowly start to carve out kind of the contour. This is the MAC Give Me Sun and I'm just going to use that just to kind of add a bit of warmness, add a bit of orangey brown. I'm just going to put on a little bit of blush. This one is a very similar tone to kind of like what we used in the eyes. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that. For my highlight, we're going to keep it supernatural as well. Um, similar tone again in the eyes. And this is Opal by Becca. I'm going to add just the smallest bit, just with my pinky right on the brow bone. Just to kind of make it a bit more orangey, I'm going to add a bit of a gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. So there we have the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's makeup look. Let me know what you think down below. As always, I will have all the products that I use as well as all my links down below. So don't forget to check that out as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.